Big Brother by Shekhar Joshi About the author Shekhar Joshi who was born in 1939 is a contemporary author who writes primarily in Hindi hailing from the Kumau region of Uttarakhand he skillfully captures the flavor of the region its culture traditions and lifestyles in his works his best known sh- stories are Daju Big Brother and Kosi ka Ghatwar The Miller of Kosi Daju also has been made into children's film by the Children's Film Society of India. Most of his writings have been translated into English, Russian, Czech, Polish and Japanese. Now the story of a big brother. Before I start the explanation, I would like to give you a little bit of introduction children. Big brother is a story about a boy who was 9 years old who worked in a cafe and who meets a man from home. He is happy and excited soon the friendliness of the young boy seems intrusion to the man and over friendliness sometimes becomes irritating so let's see how who comes out to be the better person in the story the young boy or a man the story starts like this jagdish babu who saw him for the first time at the small cafe with a large signboard in the marketplace The boy had a fair complexion, sparkling eyes, golden brown hair, and an unusual smooth liveliness in his movements, like a drop of water sliding along the leaf of lotus. When Jagdish Babu entered the cafe, the boy was removing some plates from a table, and by the time Jagdish Babu had seated himself at a corner table, the boy was already standing in front of him. He looked as though he had been waiting for hours for him for a person to sit in that seat. The boy said nothing. He just bowed little bit, showed respect, and he just smiled. While he was waiting for the order of a cup of tea, he smiled again and he went off and then returned with the tea in the twinkling of an eye. Jagdish Babu had come from a distant region. He had come from a far off region and was alone, and he was feeling little bit aloof and alone in the marketplace and in the clamor of the cafe. Everything seemed unrelated to himself, so it was very difficult for him to adjust to the new environment. maybe after living for a while and growing used to it he would start feeling some intimacy in the surroundings but today the place seemed alien he began remembering nostalgically the people of his village the school and the college boys there the cafe in the nearby town suddenly he hears the word t sharp in the boy's pronunciation of sharp he sensed something familiar which he had been missing he just started to follow up the speculation and he asked his name What is your name? He says, Madan. Very well, Madan. Where are you from? I am from the hills, Babu Ji. There are hundreds of hill places: Abu, Darjeeling, Mussoorie, Shimla, Almora. Which hill is your village in? Almora, Shab. He said with a smile. Which village in Almora? He persisted. The boy hesitated, and he was embarrassed by the strange name of the village, and he just answered. and clearly evasively oh it's far away shab it must be 15 or 20 miles from almora jagdish babu again insisted and asked him what is the name of the village he says dothial gaon just responded shyly the expression of the loneliness vanished from jagdish babu's face and he smiled and he was overjoyed that the boy is from the same village which jagdish babu hailed from The boy almost dropped his tray with delight. He stood there speechless and dazed, as though trying to recall his past. And he was just taken down the memory lane. The past, the village, high mountains, a stream, mother, father, older sister, big brother. So the boy was just taken down the memory lane. He said he could see the shadow of a big brother in Jagdish Babu. Mother, no father, no elder sister, no younger sister, but yes, a big brother. and he says he gives him a name daju so within few days the gap of this unfamiliarity between madan and jagdish babu had disappeared as soon as the gen- gentleman sat down madan would call out greetings daju daju it's very cold today daju will it snow here today daju you didn't eat much yesterday so it was a kind of showing the informality between the two people and he had become very much uh, adjusting with the person then from same direction would come a cry of a boy madan would be there even before the echo of the call could be heard bring me some water right away daju madan would call out repeating the word daju with the eagerness and affection of a mother embracing her son after a long separation so here we can say that this madan a small boy a young boy of 9 years old felt very much close comfort relationship with a 
with this gentleman Jagdish Babu. After some time, what happened? Jagdish Babu's loneliness disappeared. And now not only the marketplace, the cafe, but the city itself was like home to him. So Madan's constant cry of this Daju ringing out from all over the room, it was no longer pleasing him. And he was getting a little bit annoyed with calling him again and again Daju and Daju. Madan, come here, coming Daju. This repetition of the word Daju aroused the botchous temperament in Jagdish Babu. The thin thread of intimacy could not stand the strong pull of ego. Shall I bring tea, Daju? No tea, but what is this Daju Daju you keep on shouting all the time? Please have some respect for the person's prestige. Jagdish Babu flushed with anger, had no control over his words. Nor did this, he stop to wonder whether Madan would know the meaning of prestige. But Madan, even with no explanation, he understood everything. He was very clever. Working in a cafe at this tender age, he could understand the small sensitive issues. So he took it very seriously and he took it to his heart. Having made the excuse of a headache to the manager, Madan sat in his small room. In his situation, far from home, his display of intimacy towards Jagdish Babu had been perfectly natural. But now, for the first time in a foreign place, he felt as though someone had pulled him from the lap of his mother, from the arms of his father and from the protection of his sister. Mother returned to his work as before. The next day, when heading for the cafe Jagdish Babu, he met his childhood friend whose name was Hamant. And when they reached the cafe Jagdish Babu, he just beckoned to Madan, but he sensed that the boy was trying to remain at distance because the boy was in no mood to talk to Jagdish Babu. He was really, really felt very hurt. On the second call, Madan, he finally came over and today the smile was not there. Neither he called him Daju nor he responded to him. He just said, what I can bring? What can I bring? Jagdish Babu himself had to speak up. Two teas, two omelettes. Even then, instead of replying right away, Daju, he said right away, Shab, and then left as though the man were a stranger. So he showed that, that they did not know each other. The boy showed the other man, Haman, that uh, this Madan, he did not know the Agdish Babu. Even then, instead of replying right away, perhaps a hill boy, Haman speculated. Yes, Mata Jagdish Baban changed the subject. Madan brought the tea. And he again asked, Haman asked him his name. He was trying to be friendly. For a few mi minutes, silence engulfed the table. Jagdish Babu lowered his eyes and they were centered on the cup of tea. Memories just swam before Madan's eyes and he started recalling that how Jagdish Babu entered the cafe one day and how they got to know each other, how his name was uh, replaced uh, by J uh, Daju instead of Jagdish Babu and how he used to take care of him, how he used to talk to him. So he was really, really just uh, going all those uh, memories. Jagdish Babu raised his eyes. He felt that Madan was about to erupt like a volcano. What's your name? Hamant repeated. Sharp, they call me boy. So he did not reveal to him that they were already known to each other. He did not reveal to him that we, I used to call him Daju or he used to call me uh, the small little brother. But he said that they just call me boy. And he said it and quickly he walked away. Silly fellow, Hamant he got the impression that this boy is really silly just taking a sip of tea and he said that he, he, he this boy could not remember his name it's really really strange so the message of the story tells us that we as human beings should not be ju judgmental about others we should be ne we should never be arrogant we should value our relationships and we should really care for each other we should never hurt others emotions we should always care for others feelings and emotions because life is short full of difficulties but we should always remember that we all are human beings and we should understand and respect each other thank you